Oh man, I gotta get away from that thing! Oh, through the door! Oh, I have to get through it! Ah! I gotta get help! I gotta get out of here! I gotta call Andy! Hey, what's up, little brother? Andy! I'm trapped! I need your help! You're trapped? Billy, what's going on? I don't know! I... No! No! Billy? Billy, are you there? Oh no, Billy's in trouble! I gotta go save him! My phone said Billy's last location was here! And then it just disappeared! Where could he be? Billy! Billy, where are you? I told him not to go on this stupid trip, but did he listen to me? Hey, who's there? Huh? I thought I saw somebody. What is that? Some kind of key? Oh, maybe I need it. Hello? There's a door here. Maybe this key opens it. Come on. This gives me the creeps. What was that noise? What the heck is that? Some kind of light? Oh, I've got to be seeing things, right? I'm going to stay away from that thing. And there's that light again. Another key? I don't know what the heck that thing was. Maybe it's helping me find this key? I don't know. I've got to keep going and find Billy. He's got to be here somewhere. Uh, maybe it goes in here. Come on, key work. Uh, got it. Oh my gosh. Billy. Wait, he's not breathing. Oh my gosh. Billy, come on. Wake up. Billy. One, two, three. Ah! <gasps> oh my gosh, you're okay. Andy, is that you? Yeah, it's me. I thought you were gone, buddy. I'm so glad you're alive. Oh man, I'm lucky to be alive. How did you even get down here? Well, you've heard me talk about this place before. The haunted hotel. I really wanted to see if it was real. Turns out it was way worse than I could have imagined. It's super easy to get out of here. I remember Andy, which way. I don't think you get it. We are trapped down here. There's no way out. Oh. What was that? Oh, please. Looks like someone else is in trouble. Wait, Andy. Come on, dude. Someone needs help. Come on, stupid door, open! Open! Uh, it's locked! Andy, stop! You're making too much noise! Somebody needs help in there! You can't get through all the doors, Andy! But there are other people trapped here and they need help! Well, some of the doors are locked. We need a key to get through. Oh, great! So where's the key for this room? I don't know. I've been using this lockpick to get through them. But you gotta be careful. You can't just fly through every single door you see. With every door, there's always a chance for something bad to happen. Unlock the door! I'm working on it. Okay, here we go. Whoa. I've never seen this room before. Oh, that's not a good sign. We need to get out of here now. I've got a hiding spot. Come on. That person. Yeah, the monsters play tricks to lure you in. We have to move now. Come on, Andy. So this is one of your safe places? Is this a cave inside the hotel? Yeah, I found it while exploring the rooms. Doesn't seem like anyone's found this one yet. I think whoever built this hotel must have used it to get around without being seen. So you think somebody's behind this? Well, yeah, obviously. Someone had to build this hotel. I think it's built to trap people. Every time I go in one door, I just end up somewhere completely different. Some kind of maze. There has to be a way out of here. Well, good luck. I've tried looking, but every time I go out there, I almost get eaten by one of those monsters. Everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna find whoever did this, and we're gonna find a way out of here. One way or another. Ah, oh, great. Found it. Found it? Really? What is this? These are just some helpful tools to keep myself alive around here. I hit some around the hotel, so no matter where I am, I can use them. Here, here's a flashlight and a lockpick. Found these to be pretty useful. Oh man, you know, this is pretty messed up if someone's really behind all this. Someone definitely is, and I think I have proof. Come check this out. I found this old logbook with a bunch of guest names in it. There's one person that's been on it every time. Just a name called Dr. Popcorn. Dr. Popcorn? That is a weird name. Maybe it's some kind of alias or something. Or this could be the hotel owner. Yeah, that is true too. But maybe there's something more to this. What are you talking about? Maybe these are all clues that are being left to help us get through this place. No, I was thinking the same thing. I've been exploring trying to find the way out, but if you're right, I think we need to explore some more. We definitely do. And I'm gonna get us out of here. We just need to stick together. Now come on, let's keep moving. Oh, great, we made it back in one piece. You did hear that, right? Yeah, there was a monster. That's why I brought us back here. We need to come up with some kind of game plan. We can't keep running around in circles. You gotta get out of here, and there's gotta be more clues around this place. We just need to find them. Oh, let's see, if somebody built this hotel, then there must be a map of it somewhere, right? Yeah, a map would be really helpful right about now. What was that? Something else is in here. Really, everything's gonna be okay. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's the figure! I thought you said no one knew about this place! Apparently he found out! Come on, let's get out of here! Go deeper in the cave! Whoa, we're not in a cave anymore. Oh man, I don't know. I've never seen this place before. I didn't even know it existed. All well, it seems to be the theme with this place. And it's really dark. This flashlight will come in handy. Come on, let's keep moving. Dude, this place gives me bad vibes. Oh, it's a bunch of old chemical stuff. 
Looks like some kind of weird experiment happened down here. Maybe it was that Dr. Popcorn person? Dude, I don't like the looks of this at all. This is getting way deeper than some haunted hotel. Look, I know I'm a pain in the neck sometimes going on these adventures, but even though it's really dangerous, I'm just glad we're together, you know? It just sucks that this is what brings us together. But I think we've got a chance of getting out of here. If we keep moving. Come on, dude. Well, it looks like we're back in the hotel again. Have you seen this place before? No, I definitely haven't. Well, we need to start picking some of these locks. Come on, let's get started. Yeah, that's not a good idea, Andy. That's super dangerous. You don't know what's behind those doors. I already told you. Yeah, well, it's more dangerous than getting eaten by the creature. We've got to get out. Well, we can't just open every single door. That'll take forever. There is one door we can try. It doesn't open up with my lockpick, and I haven't been able to find the key. Well, then I guess we better keep our eye out for it. Oh, what is that? I don't know. I saw it before. Come on, Billy. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold up a bit. Is that thing guiding us? Not chasing us. What is that? Well, it looks like a key. Maybe it wants us to take it. Thank you. I think. Come on, Andy. Let's get out of here. Dude, this looks like some kind of library or something. Yeah, it's huge. Come on, let's look around and keep it quick. Have you found anything? Uh, nothing yet. This place is huge. There's got to be something here. Hey, Andy, I think I got something over here. Oh, really? What did you find? I think it might be a... Oh! Billy! Andy, please help me! Got you, Billy. I'm not losing you. I can't believe I lost them and that door wouldn't open. Last thing Billy was looking at was this book. He said it was something important. It looks like Dr. Popcorn's journal. Oh my gosh, and he's got a map. It's a map of all the rooms and he keeps going and going and going. Where is Billy? I really hope he made it. No, gotta stop thinking like that. Billy's okay. I'm gonna find Billy. It's the last thing I do. Now, maybe I go this way. According to the map, it looks like there's something up ahead. I gotta make my way through this creepy basement. Ugh. Ah! No! Wait, hold on! Everything's okay! I, I, I'm not a monster! Oh my gosh, you're, you're real! My name's Andy. What's yours? My name's Jim. I didn't know anyone knew this place existed. What are you doing here, huh? I'm looking for my brother. Some creepy monster figure thing took him. Oh, that's not good. You know what happens when the figure takes you? No. What happens? They don't just eat you. They take your soul. My brother's strong and he's gonna be fine. I just need to find him. I thought the same thing about my brother too, but he's gone. I'm really sorry. None of this talking. You want my help or not? Your help? Yeah, of course. I could definitely use your help. You've been here for a while. You should probably know your way around. And I found this. Some kind of skeleton key. This will take you to where your brother is. Well, that means we don't have a whole lot of time. We gotta get there now. Well, great. Another creepy room. What is this place? Ah, uh, it's just a little further. Don't worry. We gotta keep moving. This room just feels endless. When are we getting out of here? Why have you stopped walking? What's going on? Well, we're here. We're here. What do you mean? Ah! Oh! <laughs> What's wrong with you? What is going on? Oh, you don't get it, do you? I'm gonna feed you to the figure. What? I feed you to him. He won't eat me. It's the best idea I ever had. You are crazy. I trusted you. Thought you were gonna help me. Oh, I'm helping you. And I'm helping myself. Leave me in here. Oh, poor guy. Once the figure gets hold of you, I'll be safe to... No, no, wait. No! Come on, how does Billy make this look so easy? I can do this, I, ah, perfect. I can't believe that guy didn't take my stuff. Oh, I'm gonna find him and teach him a lesson. Oh, that's Jim's key. Well, this is mine now. Maybe I can use this to actually find Billy. Another door, maybe this is the door this key unlocks. And my luck it is. Oh man, this place is not look good. Oh, Andy, Billy. Andy, shh, keep your voice down. Oh, I'm so lucky I found you. There you go. Great, thanks. I told you you shouldn't have come here. All this stupid ghost hunting stuff could lead you into trouble. And look at where we are now, Billy. Oh, come on, Andy. Give it up. You never do anything. You always play it safe. Oh, play it safe? I just don't get myself into stupid situations like this for no good reason. This wasn't my fault. I didn't know any of this would happen. Great, and now we got the monster's attention. We don't have time for this. Come on. Are you sure this map is even legit? Well, it seems like it. I feel like we've tried every single door we come across, and we just keep going in circles. Maybe we're already dead, and this is our eternity. We just keep getting stuck in an endless loop over and over again. Come on, Billy. You need to think positive. Get that out of your head. We're gonna get out of here. I know it. And we're not dead. I don't know if I tried this door over here. Can't tell one door from another anymore. Seems like some kind of courtyard or something. See? Look. We made it outside. 
We're free. I told you, Billy. Uh, I don't think so, Andy. We're still stuck. Uh, I guess you're right. Uh, this is getting so frustrating. Trust me, I know. I'm still mad that you got us into this. What do you want from me, Andy? I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Look, it's fine, all right? We're just frustrated, stressed out, scared, and we're just trying to go at each other like we did when we were kids. Everything's gonna be fine, dude, all right? Sorry for fighting with you. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Why don't we retrace our steps? There's that creepy room we got chased out of. Maybe there was a reason we got chased out of there. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. This is where you found the journal with the map. So maybe there's something else here. It's a another book. Some kind of ritual book. Oh, well, there's a picture of the figure in here. That was the same creature that took me. I think that creature has something to do with the ritual in this book. Oh man, this is way more than I thought this place was. Yeah, well, we're in it now. If we don't figure this out soon, we might be stuck in here forever. You no, know, if I was taken there, there might be more people that are stuck here too. I think there definitely are other people down here. I think this is more than just us trying to escape. Oh, well, if that's the case, maybe we should just worry about ourselves. Worry about ourselves? We can't do that. If we come across people down here, we have to help them, Billy. We don't know how many people there are. We can't help all of them. Yeah, I know we can't trust them either, but we need to do the right thing. Well, we've got more information. This ritual book, the map, all that other stuff we've got. Let's keep looking and let's keep finding more stuff. This is definitely some kind of ritual site. See, man, I told you, following this map would work. Hello? Hello? Uh, is someone there? Oh, gosh, this guy's trapped. Please help me. Please let me out. Who are you? My name's Max, and I've been trapped in here for, for so long. So what happens here? This is where those creatures are born. I've seen my entire family. They've been turned into those monsters. The monsters are people that have been trapped in here. The more people they trap and bring down here, the more monsters they create. Like that thing. Oh, that's definitely the figure. Yeah, and he's getting way too close. You need to come with us. Absolutely not. I, I can't. Look, you either stay here with that thing or you come with us. You get a choice. Now choose. But, uh, uh, okay, let's go. We're on the way out over here. Look, there's a door right there. Go, go, go. Uh, okay. Whoa. It looks like a, another safe room of some kind. Yeah, this is where I hid before I was captured by that thing. What brought you here in the first place? Me and my family, we came here to visit the, the most haunted hotel on Earth. I thought it was some kind of fun amusement park kind of thing. None of that stuff is real. Yeah, that's why I came here too, but I thought it was real. I think that's how they lure people in here to be a part of the ritual. I should have never brought my family here. Now they're gone. Hey, look, but you're still here. Things are going to be better. We're going to find our way out of here. Are you insane? There's no way out of here. Once you're here, you can't leave. I've searched every place in this hotel. I've never been able to find an exit. I don't even remember which way I came in. Oh, we've got a map here. It's going to help. This place is way too big. It seems impossible, but I, I know there's got to be a way out. Well, is there anywhere we haven't been yet? Well, it looks like this room here is called the office. Have you ever seen it? No, I've never seen a place that looks like an office. Well, if all of us have never been there, we should go check it out. It's labeled the office. There's definitely got to be more information located there. Okay, fine. I'll go with you. Let me see if I can round up any of my supplies. And I'll meet you there. All right, good luck. Thanks. I think this is the place. I can't believe that skeleton key worked. The door's open. This is gonna be a game changer, Billy. We're gonna find more information here, I know it. Keep an eye out for anything about that Dr. Popcorn guy and his ritual site. Well, hello. Oh. Ah. You two are a whole lot smarter than the others. Who are you? I am Dr. Popcorn. You're the one behind all this. Let us out of here. <laughs> no one leaves here. Everyone stays forever. Stay forever? Why are you doing this? I was a scientist a long, long time ago. I learned I could combine science and ancient vampire rituals to create an army of evil creatures doing my bidding. So you're doing this just for fun? I create these creatures to help me feed on the souls of the people that visit this hotel. Well, you're not going to get away with this. <laughs> I already have. <laughs> 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 Oh, Andy, we gotta get out of here. I don't have my lockpick anymore. He took it. Oh, mine was taken as well. Well, do you know how to open a lock without a lockpick? Of course not. I would have done it by now. Uh, 
Oh, I guess this is it for us. I'm so sorry, Andy. Sorry for getting us into this mess. Hey, hey, don't cry, okay? No matter what happens, I'll always love you, Billy. I found you! Oh my gosh, Max! I'm gonna get you out of there. Don't worry. I brought my lockpick. Here. How on earth did you find us? Well, I heard Billy crying. What? I wasn't crying. We don't have time for this. We need to go. Where's the exit? It's this way, over here. Where do you think you're going? Boys, run! What? You're coming with us. I'm not gonna let another family get messed up by this monster. Ah! Ah! Look, it's another door. Come on, Billy, let's go. You will have to do. No! Ah, we made it. We're back in Max's camp. Look around. See if there's anything he left. We don't have our skeleton key or flashlights or anything. Oh, Max must have had everything on him. Look, I'm not sure how much time we're going to have. That Dr. Popcorn guy could be back at any minute. Oh, I don't know. I can't find anything. We're in trouble if we don't have any way of getting into those doors. Well, then I guess we got to keep moving on to the next room. <laughs> that sounds way too close. Come on. Still don't see anything, do you? Wait, over there, it's a key. Oh man, this is great. Where are we supposed to go? Well, I remember from Dr. Popcorn's journal, he had a secret lair connected to the doors. It might be the only place that'll get us out of here. Dr. Popcorn's secret lair? Yeah, I I'm not going Do there. we really have a choice, Billy? Well, I guess not, but I'm scared, man. Yeah, I'm scared too. We just have to keep going, okay? Probably not a good move to go into this guy's house. Well, what else are we supposed to do? Well, I don't know. He's probably watching us right now. I definitely feel like I'm being watched. Look, you need to stop being so negative and get out of your head, okay? We need to stay strong and work together. Come on, let's keep going. Maybe there's something in here. Ah! Max, can you hear me in there? That's not Max anymore. Let's run. Ugh, this place again? There has to be something here. This is definitely where Dr. Popcorn was before he was turned into a vampire. We just gotta keep looking, okay? So stay close. No problem, Andy. And thank you so much again for being here with me, man. We'll have time for all that stuff once we get out of here, okay? Now come on. Hey, wait, look over there. My gosh, it's a key. This has to go to one of the doors in here. Yeah, but which one? There's a door right here. Let's give it a shot. All right, here goes nothing. Well, it worked. Come on, let's see what's on the other side. Well, great. Another hallway with more doors. What the heck is this place? I have no idea, but maybe this will lead us somewhere important. Come on. I don't know, man. I have a strange feeling about this. I feel like we're being watched. What are you talking about? I don't know. I just... Oh, uh, Andy, look! What the... Eye on the wall? Oh my gosh, Andy! Please! Come on, Billy, let's, let's go! go. I told you we were being watched! <sighs> okay. There are no eyes in here. At least I think there aren't. Andy, look at this place. I think this is Dr. Popcorn's old laboratory. And it's still here. This has to be connected to the outside world somehow. You know what? I bet he built his hotel on top of this old place so that he would still have a connection with the outside world. And it looks like he's still doing some experiments in here. Hey, Andy, come look at this. Looks like some kind of vault or something. Well, there's got to be something inside. Something important to Dr. Popcorn that he doesn't want anyone seeing. Billy, what's ever on the other side of this door, we have to be ready for it, okay? You know what? I'm ready. Let's open it. Whoa. Billy, check it out. Some kind of mansion. This has to be where Dr. Popcorn lives. Living underneath the hotel? Yeah, that's definitely something a vampire would do, that's for sure. Come on, let's look around. What? No, do you know how dangerous this is? Don't you want to get out of here, Billy? Mm, I do. Then we don't really have a choice. Now, come on. This place is huge, and there are tons of rooms. Maybe we should split up. Are you kidding me? We'll cover more ground that way, and we'll be done faster. Now, you go check out that room, and I'll look over here. Andy, wanting us to split up? That's just what they do in horror movies before we get caught. Uh, oh my gosh. Yep, this guy is definitely a vampire. What's going on in here? Huh, some kind of office. Let's see if you got anything important here, Dr. Popcorn. Oh, some kind of book. Let's see. Ritual to defeat a vampire. <laughs> this will come in handy. Hey, uh, what did you find? I think I found a way to defeat Dr. Popcorn. Oh, really? Uh, that's great. We just need to get a golden steak. Golden steak? I think I saw one in the library. It's a shot in the dark. Well, then we have to go back to that library. Come on, let's go. Andy, I think we're being watched again. You're just paranoid, Billy. That's... Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> you think you can actually defeat me? Ah! Billy, run! Oh, I'm right behind you! Okay, 
I think we lost him. And we made it. We're in the library now. Where did you see that golden stake? Well, the first time I was here, I remember seeing something golden, but I didn't have time to investigate what it was. Well, do you remember where it was? I'll think. Uh, let me show you. Oh, man, it's that figure. All right, we've got to hide. Uh, Dr. Popcorn must be on to us and sent figure to guard the stake. No, I think you're right. Well, I don't think it can see, so it must rely on sound. I think I can distract it. Distract it? Are you crazy? It'll be fine. You just have to trust me, Andy. Hey, ugly, over here. What's well, working? Come on, you creep. Uh, I can't believe this. I gotta be fast. There it is. Got it. All right, time for me to get out of here. All right, now I gotta find Billy. Before I go to that ritual site, I told him not to do anything stupid, and he let that monster chase right after him. Ugh, Billy, what am I gonna do with you? Ugh, Max, it's you! Look, Max, I know you're in there. You just need to fight this, okay? <laughs> no! Come on, Max, stop, please! I've gotta find a way out. Uh, through here. I'll go through this door. Uh, no, it's locked! No! No! Come on, Andy! Billy? Oh, oh, man! You actually saved me this time. No kidding. I didn't think I was going to make it, but I managed to hide from that thing. Well, I'm glad you're all right. I got the stake, so it's almost over. Now, come on. We need to go to that ritual site. Do you really think this is going to work? It has to work. We've been basically bait this entire time anyways. I know he's going to come find us here, but I need you to go hide. What? I don't want to hide. What if I lose you? You're not going to lose me, Billy. I promise. I know this is going to work. <sighs> All right, but I hope this works. All right, it's time to put an end to this. Dr. Popcorn, I got a surprise for you. Walking right into the belly of the beast. <laughs> You're stupider than I thought. Now I'm going to eat your soul for all the annoyance you've caused me. I'm not scared of you, Dr. Popcorn. Uh oh, well, you should be. But I thought there were two of you. Where's the other? Right here. Ah! All right, now be gone. I think we're back to where we started. There's the elevator. Oh, man. Yes, we need to use the key. It's working. The elevator's moving. We did it. We did it. We're going to get out of here. I've never seen this floor. Where am I? It's someone there. Huh? What was that? Oh, my gosh. Please. Please help me. What? Uh, hello? Who's there? This isn't funny. Please help. I'm trapped. There's no way out. What? Y you're trapped? Please help. Oh, good knacks. Okay, get away from the door. Door? Th there is no door. <laughs> okay. Hey. Huh? Hello? Is anybody here? Who's coming? <sighs> what the heck was that? Help! Please help! Is that somebody else? Please help! Hello? Are you here? <laughs> Vincent, Vincent, I need your help! Wow! Uh, uh, Jackson, what is it? Where is the fire? Oh, Vincent, there's people that need help! People that need help? What? Is there something wrong with the guests? Sounds weird, but I think they're trapped in the walls! Trapped in the walls? What? Come with me, I'll show you! I think this is the floor. I don't remember ever seeing that floor before. There's no secret floor in the hotel, Vincent. Why am I here? Where is the emergency? I heard screaming, but there was no one in the rooms. Hello? Hello, are you there? Uh, hello? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. What do you want? Uh, sir, did you by any chance hear screaming earlier? Screaming? What is this? I'm trying to sleep. I'm really sorry for the disturbance. Yeah, you better be. Jackson, you're hearing things, and now you're starting to bother the guests. There's something strange going on, I swear! The only strange thing that's happening right now is you. I don't want to hear another word about this, or you're fired. But sir! Don't! I've hit my limit with you today, Jackson. The toilets in the lobby need cleaning. What the heck is happening here? Yo, Jackson, listen, I've worked here for a long time. Vincent's definitely weird. But it's just better if you keep to yourself and do your job. Got Wait, it? What? But there could be somebody in trouble. Just listen to my advice, dude. Just do what Vincent says. I'd go clean those toilets if I was you. Hello, room service. Oh, I think the door's unlocked. Hello? Oh, man. What? This is impossible. It's the same floor. How did I get back here? Ah! Hello? Help. Is anybody there? Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's no voice. There's no voice coming from the wall. That's not real. No. No, this is real. 
My name is Finley. Please help. If you're real, then how did you get in there? How are you in the walls? I arrived January 29th, 1991. What? 1991? Please, I promise. I'm real. <laughs> oh, no. I have to hide. He's coming. What? Huh? How? Who's coming? Hide, quick. Oh, man. No, this is way too freaky. I'm out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm out of there again. Yo, Jackson, are you all right? Simon, oh my gosh. What are you doing, man? You look like you've seen a ghost. I think I've seen everything but a ghost. I heard a person in the walls again. Yeah, all right, dude. Look, don't dig too much into it, all right? Vincent's gonna get mad. I don't care what Vincent thinks. Well, he should. He's super mean. But I know what I just saw, and it was real, Simon. I can't explain it, but I think these people need help. I think you might be the one that needs help, dude. Maybe you should get some rest. You seem super stressed out. Yeah, maybe you're right. I need some fresh air. I really don't know what's happening, and I have been working a lot as of lately. Vincent definitely makes sure of that. Oh, man. What am I going to do? Hey, Jackson. Oh, hey, Walter. Come over here a second. I want to talk to you. Uh, all right. Is everything okay? Word has gotten around the hotel. Heard about the trapped people. Oh, yeah. Have you heard about it, too? I've worked at this hotel for years. You need to be careful. Careful of what? Everybody's been telling me that. A lot of these people can't be trusted can't be trusted. I don't get it. Why hasn't anyone helped me? I can't say more. We're being watched. But there's a key on the ground over there. Pick it up and head to the woods. There's a door in the floor. Your answers might be there. A door in the floor? What are you even talking about, Walter? Walter, I need you over here immediately. Uh, of course, Vincent. I I'll be right there. So, this key has the answers, huh? Well, I don't really want to go into the woods, but... Yes, I have to. I'm gonna need some help. Dude, I can't believe you got me into this. It's supposed to be gaming with my friends tonight. Trust me, Simon, this is way more important than your video games. Dude, you're starting to act crazy. What are we even supposed to be looking for? I don't know, Simon, but I'll know when I see it. Whoa, what is this place? This looks like some kind of ancient room or something. Well, looks like there's something over there. Oh man, it's an altar. There's a book on it. I think we're finally about to get some answers with this. Yo, there's no answers in just some creepy old room, dude. I want to get out of here. Hold on, just give me a minute. No, dude, it's impossible. There are no people trapped in the hotel. Hold up, I need to take a look at this. Vampire spells. This is a book of vampire spells? What does this even mean? All I know is if Vincent finds us, we're going to be in so much trouble, dude. We're not allowed to be snooping around hotel grounds. Well, I'm taking this. And I think you're right. We should get out of here. It's pretty creepy. I feel like somebody's watching us. You know, dude, vampires aren't real, right? I don't know. I don't have all the pieces yet, Simon. I'm trying to get this mystery together. Oh, Vincent, sir. One of the guests never got their room service, and they complained. I'm so sorry, Vincent. I was busy. Uh, I forgot to deliver it, but I'll do it right now. Too busy to do your job? You better stop distracting everybody from their work. You need to stop spreading these ghost stories and rumors around the hotel. Look, Vincent, we're really sorry. Now get back to work dude i told you i was gonna get in trouble now he's like super mad yeah i know i'm sorry simon but now it's more important than ever that we need to stick together yeah i guess so oh no i've just got the creeps now i don't want to do this anymore i'm not looking into this i'm just here to work and do my job and get paid dude listen simon we just need to find one more thing we need to check the records to see if this finley guy is real All the old files are kept in here in the basement. I know there has to be records on all the guests that come and go from the hotel. Around here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. These are the logbooks for 1991. All right, Finley, let's see if we can find you. All right, January, here we go. There he is, January 29th, Finley Martin. Wait a minute, there's no checkout date for him. Oh man, but he's real, I knew it. I need to show Simon. Dude, check this out. Uh, all right, what am I looking at? Right there, look. It's him. Finley Martin, 1991. Whoa, dude, that is really strange. So this is the guy you said you heard? Yup, same name, same date, everything. And look, he never checked out, so it's possible he's still here. 
Hey, Walter! Jackson? I need to show you something. It's really important. I took that key you gave me, and I found this book. Key I gave you? What are you talking about? Uh, Jackson, I thought you said Walter helped you. What? He did! Walter, you gave me this! Shh! Maybe the answer's in the book. Yo, dude, why was Walter acting so weird? Guy is kind of creepy. I know. Before he left, he said there was something inside the book. Well, you've been looking at it for a minute now. Is there anything there? Nothing I haven't already read. Wait a minute, there's a room number. 333. We should go check it out. Maybe that's what Walter was talking about. Yeah, good idea. Here it is, room 333. Dude, whose room is this? I don't remember checking anyone into this room, do you? No, definitely not. Hey, look at this. It's Vincent. This must be his room. Yeah, I think you might be right. This place gives me the creeps just like him. Uh, dude, this looks like a coffin. That's because it is a coffin. What is this even doing here? Look, there's another book over here. What does it say? This is his handwriting. This must be his journal or something. It's him talking about trapping souls and using the hotel as a vessel. Oh my gosh, I think I'm starting to get it now. You think Vincent's the one trapping people in the hotel? All of it's pointing towards that. Simon, I think Vincent is a vampire. Th that might explain the coffin. And he's trapping his prey in some kind of void in the hotel. We need to stop him. What was that? Oh man, I'm getting the creeps. I don't know if we should be in here. No, I agree. Let's get out of here. Oh, Vincent! Is everything okay, boys? What are you doing on the side of the hotel? We haven't checked guests over here in a while. Oh, uh, we just made a wrong turn, that's all. Yeah, actually, uh, I was looking for you, sir. You were looking for me. Um, yeah, I need your help with a room downstairs. I forget exactly how you like the blankets folded. Uh, how many times must I tell you? All right, let's go. Good luck, dude. Okay, Simon bought me some time. I gotta find my way back to that creepy floor. Maybe I can open the portal there and let them all out. All right, I think this is the door. Same creepy room. Hello? Finley? Are you there? Please, someone help. Don't worry. I'm gonna get you out. Please, you need to hurry. I don't think I have much time left. Okay, let's see if there's something in this book. There's a portal somewhere in the wall. I just have to find it. Ah! Ah! It's gotta be somewhere here. Ah! Oh, finally! The portal! All right, here goes nothing. Oh, man. Whoa, where the heck am I? <laughs> Finley? Is that you? Oh, my gosh, it's you. Come with me quick. The portal might close. Thank you for saving me and believing me. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. I got to get out of here. I'm scared. Don't worry. We're almost done. I got to go help my friend Simon. Someone, please help me. Help. <laughs> There's nowhere for you to run. Vincent, let Simon go! It seems as though, my friend, I'm the only one with the power here. What will you do if I don't let him go? Vincent, it's all over. I know about all the people you've trapped here. I opened the portal and all the souls are leaving as we speak. You're going to pay for being so nosy. I think you're going to be my first snack. Oh, man! Ah, you're quick. <laughs> Thanks, dude. We need to run now. Jackson, what are we going to do? Hey, over here. Finley. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I never want to go back to that hotel. Don't worry. We never will. How's it going? So, um, I don't know. I'm kind of stranded out here. This is the only hotel I could find. Do you guys have a room? Yes. We have a room. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, sounds good. Uh, I only have like 40 bucks on me, though. Is that going to be enough? I, I can get more tomorrow. It's just my cell phone's not working. Mm, $40 is just fine. Here, you'll have room number 13. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, sounds good. The elevator is just over there. Thanks, appreciate it. Uh, hey there, how's it going? Hello there, how are you? Uh, I'm doing alright now that I finally got here. I mean, ugh, it's been a long day. You should run while you can. What, what do you mean, run while I can? Just go, just run as quickly as possible and get out of here. Uh, alright, well thanks for the advice. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Noise. 
Yes. Hello? This is all your fault, George. You got us lost. I would have never crashed the car if I knew where I was going. How is this my fault, okay? You crashed the car since you were driving. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you, man. Now we're stranded out here and we have nowhere to go. Oh, this is so frustrating. Why'd you even want to go on this stupid trip anyway? It's gross out here. My allergies are killing me. I don't know, okay? Just stop yelling. Let's not get mad. Let's just figure this out. All right, fine. Well, I know that that town that you wanted to stay at is like, I don't know, a couple miles away. I guess we could just walk. It's just going to be a bummer, man. Fine. Let's just grab the bags. All right, cool. Well, hopefully we can find somebody there that will tow the car or something. Let's see if they have a telephone. Look, we ran into some trouble out there. Our car, we got into an accident and our cell phone service doesn't work up here. So we had to walk. Is there anything that you can do to help us out? Yeah, no cell phone service around here. Mm. I can help. I can go get that car. That would be but... awesome, man. I really appreciate it. How long do you think it'll take? Oh, I reckon it's going to take a long time to fix. What? Really? Why? You don't even know what's wrong with it yet. You just said you had an accident, did you not? Yeah, we crashed into a tree. So, I'll repeat myself. Might take a long time to fix. <sighs> Alright, fine. Well, what are we supposed to do till then? We don't have anywhere to go. Well, about a couple miles up the road here, there's a hotel. But be careful. Things tend to get a little weird there. What? Okay, yeah, whatever, man. Fine, I don't mind. Do you mind, George? I don't mind. All right, come on, let's go. We'll come back and check out the car in a couple of days and see how you're making out. Sounds good. Oh, man, this place really is creepy, huh? <sighs> and it's so dirty. They don't even have pavement here. I know, it's ridiculous. Well, we might as well go inside. Maybe it'll be nicer in there. Do they even trim their hedges? Uh, hi, how's it going? We're looking for a room. Hmm, a room. I've got a room. Uh, okay, cool. How much? It depends. How much are you willing to pay? What, is this like a let's make a deal type of thing? But I don't want to pay anything. How about that? Hmm, don't worry. We'll collect payment at another time. Here's your key. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, this is actually a pretty sick hotel. Thank you, appreciate it. The elevator's over there. Hey man, how's it going? Get out of here. Just run while you can. Just get out. What? No, what What are you talking about? Y you shouldn't stay here. You shouldn't be here. Go, run. Well, there's nowhere else for us to stay. We're stuck here. Our car broke down. You really should leave. <sighs> man, you are so weird. What is with the people in this town? I don't know, huh? Oh, man, come on. I just want to get some rest. This has been like the longest day ever. My legs are killing me. Seriously, what a long walk. Whoa, what was that noise? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this, Ian. George, it's all right, man. Don't get so nervous. What? I mean, what could it possibly be? This place is just creepy. Well, come on. Let's go to our room. I hope they have candles in there. Oh, my gosh. What is up with this place? It's disgusting. Ugh. Welcome. Whoa, who are you? I can be your worst nightmare. Come on, George, you're right. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Ian, oh my, we have to go. We have to go. Come on, let's go in this room. Let's go hide and... Oh my gosh, what is this place? Oh! oh man, I can hear the guy coming. I don't think we can get out in time. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Shh, be quiet, be quiet. 
Come on, let's go hide behind this thing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's in here. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Lower your voice. Okay, okay, this is so crazy. I need to get help. Look, look, he's leaving. He didn't see us, George, he didn't see us. We really have to get help. Yeah, I know. I don't know what to do. I mean, my cell phone's not working. There's no service. There's got to be somebody here that can help us out, though. Ooh, maybe there's a phone at the manager's desk. Yeah, the manager could help us. He seemed really nice. Let's do that. All right, come on. Let's make a run for it. That guy's got to be gone by now. Just don't look back. Just run as fast as you can. Hello, sir, sir. Yes? Look, I don't know what kind of place you're running or if you even know this, but there's a crazy person upstairs. He pulled out a weapon and started chasing us around. Mm -hmm. Follow me so you can be safe. Uh, okay. Right this way. What is going on? I don't know. What is this place? You will see soon enough what kind of place you're in. No, I don't like this. This doesn't feel right. I want to get out of here. Yeah, I gotta go. Please, just just let us go. We'll be, you know what? We'll be fine if we just can leave now. I will turn you into zombies like everyone else at this hotel. Oh my gosh, it was you the whole time. And there's no leaving. No, come on, run, George, run. Oh! The hatch, come on, let's go, jump in it. Finally made it. Look it. Where the heck are we? Uh, I don't even know. Are we even near that hotel anymore? Dude, I don't know. We're just in the middle of the woods. Oh, well, anything's better than being around that freak. What is going on? Ian, this has been the scariest day ever. Yeah, me too. There's something awful about that hotel. I mean, that manager's turning people into zombies. No wonder everyone in the town is weird. We really should look for help, Ian. I know. I can't believe that we went on this stupid, stupid trip. I didn't even want to do this. Well, I can't believe you had to crash the car. It's both of our faults. We're in this situation. We just need to stay positive and get out. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lose my cool. That's all right. We got to find a way to get help, though. I mean, I didn't notice a police station in town at all. Did you? There you are. My gosh! No! Run! George! Ah! Come on, back into the tunnel! Man, I don't know, maybe we can outrun him or something. This is getting ridiculous! My legs are so tired! My legs are so tired! Come on, let's go through this lab again! Quick, quick, let's hide! You know... We really need to just stop what's happening here at this hotel. We need to stop this madman. I know, shh, quick. He's looking for us. There he goes. He's gone. <sighs> yeah, you're right. We have to put an end to this, but we have no choices. I mean, we don't have the cops. We have no phone. I have no way to get a word out to anybody. I mean, maybe that mechanic was even in on it. He was so weird. He really was. I don't know who we could even trust at this point. Look, I know this sounds messed up, but I think we gotta burn this place to the ground. It's the only way. I think you're right, Ian. We have to put an end to this. Yeah, I think so too. Come on, let's go. Hey, 
Hey boys, my name's Chet Flenderson, and uh, you must be Ian and George. Yes, hi all. I am such a big fan of yours. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now look, boys, can you tell me uh, everything that happened here? I can tell you some of it. I mean, a lot of it's a blur, don't you think, George? Yeah, it was so scary and so creepy. This whole ordeal's been... <sighs> Yeah, well, basically what happened was our car broke down, we came up here, and then this dude told us to come to this hotel, so we did, and turns out the manager's some crazy person who's chasing us around, he said he turned people into zombies, there's dungeons, there's everything you can think of, it's terrifying. And don't forget the creepy lab. It was so creepy. Well, boys, you're not going to believe this, but we've done some investigating into this area, and uh, a lot of people have been going missing. That's right. They come to this town, and they never leave. That is so creepy. It makes sense. I'm just so happy that this ordeal is over. We can go home. Me too, and uh, I'm, like, really surprised that we found a phone. We had to go to some villager way out in the middle of the nowhere. I'm glad we were able to call you. I can see how people can get lost out here because there's no way to get contact to anyone. Yeah, and that's probably why people keep getting taken. Well, boys, I really, really appreciate you bringing this to us. I mean, I think this is going to make a great story, and I'm glad you're both okay. Thank you so much. I'm just glad no one's ever going to have to deal with this ever again. Yeah, me too. And I cannot wait to go home. Next year, we're going to the city for our vacation, dude. Yeah, that's a good idea. Scout, keep running! Hurry up! I'm right behind you, Dad! Choo Choo Charles took Paul! He took your brother! What do we need to do? You're gonna stay here, and you're gonna look out! I'm going after your brother! Do you hear that? I don't see anything, but I hear it. It's close! Scott, be careful! <gasps> Dad, no! Dad, please stay with me! Everything's gonna be fine! Scott, listen to me. Find the eggs. Save your brother from Choo Choo Charles. Dad, no! Ah! 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 Get away from me! Ah! Ah! He's getting on me! You killed my dad! You took my brother! You're a monster! What? The bones aren't affecting him anymore! I gotta get out of here! Oh! Get back! Get back, you monster! Yeah, I want the fire to you! Huh? Get out of here! Huh? I said go! Uh, oh my gosh, thank you! Follow me if you want to live. Alright, this should be a safe place for you for now. How are you holding up? Uh, a lot better. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. You got lucky I found you back there. Otherwise, you would have ended up as Choo Choo Charles' next meal. Yeah, well, unfortunately, my dad wasn't so lucky. Your dad? He's gone? Yeah, he died. Eugene, no. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. You knew my dad? I did know your dad. Him and I were friends for a long time. Where's your brother? That thing, Choo Choo Charles, it took him. What is it? What's going on? There's a lot to explain. I need to find a way to stop him and get my brother back. Do you even know why people are here? We're stuck here because of Warren and his mine. Warren? I feel like I've heard that name before. Your dad probably mentioned him to you. Warren offered people a chance to come to his mine and take and find gold. But instead, they found eggs. Eggs that hatched into spider-like monsters, like Choo Choo Charles. Oh, that's so messed up. What's more messed up is Warren's been forcing people to mine the eggs. We've been losing people left and right. Well, I'm going to find my brother. I'm going to kill Charles. If you're going to find your brother, you're probably going to have to go to Warren. He'll know something. And if you're going up after Charles, you'll need this. It's a flamethrower. Charles hates fire. Whoa. Oh, thanks for your help. Who are you? Name's John. But good luck, Scott. You're going to need it. This must be Warren's mansion. Well, I gotta get in. I gotta find this guy. I need to save my brother. Hey, hey you. You're not going anywhere. Back up. Yo, whoa, hey, I I'm not trying to cause any trouble. You're not getting any close to the egg. That belongs to our sacred spider. Back up. Look, let's just calm down, okay? Right. Number one, stand down. Yes, sir. Can't you see who this is? This is our guest. Scott, come inside. You're Warren, aren't you? That's right. Welcome. I apologize for number one. He just loves Charles as much as I do. <laughs> Listen, I don't want any trouble. I just have a couple questions. Well, your time is running out. Please, I, I just want to find my brother. My father said Charles took him. Where is he? Oh, your brother, Paul, right? I remember him. Your brother is 
working for me. Working for you? What are you talking about? Your brother's in the cave, mining. He's looking for more eggs. You can find him there. Take me to the mine. Now! Feisty, aren't you? All right, as you wish. Oh, these caves are huge. Oh man, they're real creepy. Paul? Paul, you there? Oh, I don't hear him. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe he's deeper in the mine. What is this? Oh my gosh, it looks like an egg. Oh, what is this? Ah! Oh my gosh! How does he keep finding me? Oh man! I'm sick of this thing. This is for my brother! Take this, you monster! Ah! That's right! Get out of here, you ugly beast! Freak of nature! Oh man, that was a close one. John! Hey, John! W what's going on? Warren was no help at all! He led me to Charles's dining room! Of course he was no help. The only thing Warren thinks about now are those eggs. Oh, yeah, speaking of eggs... What the? You found one? Yeah, I was wondering if you knew more about those it. Those eggs belong to Charles. Keeping them will only attract them. Oh, uh, this belongs to that thing? Oh, gosh! So these things attract Charles, huh? Good! I'm gonna use these to learn and get rid of Charles and find my brother. You think it's gonna be that easy? <laughs> Man, you're bold. You're gonna need all three of his eggs if you want to get to Charles. Well, I've already got one of them. Now I'll go find the other two. It's not gonna be that easy. Warren and his cultists probably already have one of the eggs. So that means there's only one left out there somewhere. Then I'll have to find it before they do. I have to do everything to save my brother. Well, I guess the next step is gonna be confronting those cultists. They usually worship Charles at the abandoned church. Oh, man, this is the abandoned church. Oh, gosh, I don't like the vibe here. What is that chanting? I better go check it out. We are all one step closer to fulfilling the wish of Choo Choo Charles. Choo Choo Charles will grant us wealth and riches beyond our wildest dreams. We will get all the eggs just as Choo Choo Charles wishes. These guys are out of their minds. I'm gonna get that egg. You're not getting anything. <laughs> Huh? What? Where am I? End of the line, Scott. What? You're one of those cultists! Let me out! It's too late. No one will stop us from summoning Charles. Well, yeah, once I get out of here, you're all going down. <laughs> Pathetic. You will be a perfect sacrifice for Charles, along with the eggs. Ah, yes, Charles is here. Ah, the great spider. Here's the egg, as you asked. Ah, yes, you're becoming stronger, more powerful than before. Now, Charles, kill Scott. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, I gotta get out of here. No, stay away from me. Huh. Get away, come back. Huh. Take that, you stupid monster. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Run away. Huh. Scott, man, I'm happy to see you. Oh, man, Paul, you're all right. Yeah, for now. Come on, we need to leave now. All right, this is the safe house. You're gonna be fine here. Oh my gosh, Paul. I'm so glad that you're alive. Yeah, I'm glad you are too. Where's dad? Uh, dad? Paul, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know how to tell you this. Dad's dead. What? N no, no, he's not. Is he really? Oh, Paul, I'm sorry. Charles took him, man. You know, this is all my fault, don't you? Oh, Paul, it's not your fault. Yes, it is. I only took Warren's mining offer because I wanted to use the gold to help our family. Dad told me not to, but I said I didn't have a choice. I did, but Scott, I'm so sorry. Now Dad's gone because of me. Paul, no. Dad wouldn't want you blaming yourself like this. Dad's last wish was for us to go back home safely. And we need to make sure we do that. What we need to do is find that last egg and get rid of Charles once and for all. Oh, uh, Paul, Charles took one of the eggs. You know what? That's fine. He might have the egg now, but we can get rid of him. I have been thinking, and I have a plan to stop Charles for good. I need you to go find the last egg while I make everything ready. And be careful. 
Okay, Warren's mentioned. I have to see if he knows where the last egg is. He knows way more than he's telling me. Now I just gotta find him. You fool! Do you have any idea how hard I've worked for that? I'm really sorry, boss. I can't believe you let Charles take the egg. Thought you wanted to give Charles the egg. No, of course not. I was gonna sell it off to the highest bidder. And once I collect all the eggs and sell them off, I'll be rich again. You are ruining my plans. Must have found the egg and given it to Charles without my permission. Well, we need to find the last one before anyone else does. What about that kid running around looking for his brother? I can't have that idiot ruining my fun. Make sure you find him and keep him locked up and out of the way. You got it, sir. Oh, that greedy creep. Can't believe this. I'll slow him down. That should do it. I gotta get to that egg before they do. Okay, Paul, you're not gonna like this, but we gotta go in that cave. You're joking, right? It's where I saw the egg. I'm pretty sure the last egg is here. Ugh, all right, I'll follow you then. Dude, I still can't believe you set fire to Warren's mansion like that. What's gotten into you? Oh, don't worry. I saw Warren get out. I only did it to slow them down. Oh, I guess it's a good idea, but he's gonna be really, really mad. I don't care what happens to that pompous creep. He caused all this. We're gonna find that egg. Speaking of, dude, look, there it is right there. Oh, awesome. We gotta get to it before... Oh no, dude, get ready. Oh no, not again. We gotta get out of here. Oh man, run. Scott, wh what's going on? Everybody is on the boats leaving the island. It's just us now. Well, that's good. At least no one else will get hurt. I know. How's the plan going? Is this gonna work? It has to work, dude. We don't have another choice. All right, then you know what you have to do, don't you? Uh, Scott? <laughs> I want to thank you boys for getting me back my eggs. You do know this is an island, right? There's nowhere for you to hide. You knew I was going to come find you. Just give it up, Warren. Everyone's gone. There's no point to this anymore. Oh, <laughs> yes, there is. I'm going to become rich again. Selling these eggs will make me a billionaire. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. No, no, Charles, no! Oh no, Scott, he sees us. Not for long. Ah! Oh no, wait, it's not working. Time to execute the plan. Come on, dude, we gotta run. Come on, Scott, keep up, dude. I'm right behind you. Charles is getting closer. We gotta make it across the bridge. Paul, 